Hello and welcome to Frank in the Hall. I'm Mr. Cherkasky and I'm taking over for Frank this week because she's in Florida. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and ask staff members that were Boyertown graduates questions about the school and see how well they know their school. I'm here with Mr. Brunner, the choral director here at Boyertown, and he's a 2001 Boyertown graduate. Who wrote the Boyertown alma mater and what year was it written? Well, I know it's by someone named Yoder. It, I, I think it's Arlen Yoder, but I think we've had this debate before that it's not Arlen Yoder. It's Daniel Yoder, but we'll give yeah. you that okay. for the Yoder. And I'm not sure what the date is, maybe like 1952? That's a good guess, but you're a little off. 1933, it was written. Can you sing the first four lines? Do you really want me to sing it? Yes. We love to bring our tribute in lofty songs of praise to the our alma mater, our grateful voices raise. This is Mrs. Long. She is a 2008 Boyertown graduate. What was the very first year that the yearbook was published in all color? 2006. You are absolutely correct. It was called True Colors, All yes. Color. So now I'm here with Mrs. Shellaway, who's a 1993 Boyertown graduate. What famous Boyertown graduate was instrumental in starting the Arts Expo in 1992? You were around at that time. No. He's a famous Boyertown graduate, one of the, the most famous. Oh, oh, Steve Burns. Steve, Steve Burns, Burns from Blues, Blues Clues. Blues Clues. We're with Mrs. Casper, a 1970 Boyertown graduate, who was the only female head principal of the school ever. I don't know if Gwen was ever a head principal, but I know we had a Mrs. Fryer. You're right, it's Mrs. Fryer. Did you ever have to see Mrs. Fryer? No, I did not, but I know some <laughs> students who did that were upper cl classmen, especially when they left the chickens loose. So Mr. Idol is a 2003 Boyertown graduate. Do you know the student that was the very first host of In the Hall? No, I do not. It was during your time, though, do you remember? I don't even remember In the Hall being a thing when I was a student here. Mr. Brishka's over there. I think Mr. Brishka knows. Let's go ask him. It was John Carver, Carver in the Hall. Carver in the hallway. And now I do remember Carver in the Hall. Now I'm with Mrs. Benning, who's a 1991 Boyertown graduate. When was the first year that Boyertown High School took a senior class trip to Walt Disney World? I believe that was the class of 1980. She is right. Yes! <laughs> I got it! That's all for this episode of In the Hall. Frank will be back next week with a new question, and she'll see you then. Because the good old days weren't always good, and tomorrow ain't as bad as it seems.